UConn's president responding today to allegations made by several former and current students that the school didn't take their sexual abuse complaints seriously. Susan Herbst said uh, due to federal privacy law, she can't talk about specific cases, but she does say any charge that the school was indifferent to the students' claims are patently untrue. News 8's Keith Coons live at our New Haven newsroom now with more on the chancellor's message to the school's board of directors. Keith? Darren and Tony, President Herbst made a point to say that the university devotes a great deal of resources to making the campus a safe environment, and she went to great measures to praise members of the Yukon Police Department. UConn President Susan Herbst had a very pointed message to the school's board of directors, directly taking on charges made by seven women that the school had not taken their complaints of sexual abuse seriously enough. I cannot speak to all 132 years of UConn history, but I can speak to the present and to the two years that I've been here. The suggestion that the University of Connecticut, as an institution, would somehow be indifferent to or dismissive of any report of sexual assault is astonishingly misguided and demonstrably untrue. The women, represented by nationally known attorney Gloria Allred, went public on Monday, saying they have filed a complaint against the school with the federal government. They talked in great detail about what had allegedly happened to them on campus. This past spring semester, I was drugged and raped by a fellow student and co-worker from the University of Connecticut. Another former student was highly critical of the Yukon Police Department. The officer told me, women need to stop spreading their legs like peanut butter, or rape is going to keep on happening until the cows come home. Shocked, I left. Feeling confused, violated traumatized and vulnerable. Although Herp says federal law prevents her from talking about specific cases, nothing stopped her from defending members of the Yukon police force. It was very difficult this week to hear our Yukon police officers painted as uncaring, insensitive, and rude. They are the men and women out every day and night working to protect our students, an extraordinarily hard job given this age group. And Attorney Allred said earlier this week that filing lawsuits against the school on behalf of the students for financial compensation is at this point not out of the question. So we will just have to wait and see where this story goes from here. Live in the New Haven Newsroom, Keith Kuntz, News 8.